Has this ever happened to you? It's midnight, and I'm the most awake I felt the entire day, but I need to go to bed because I have to get up early tomorrow to go to somewhere that hasn't watched this video yet. Or are you the complete opposite, and you wake up at 6 o'clock every Saturday even if you went to bed two hours ago? Well, these tendencies are due to your circadian rhythm. The circadian rhythm is found in almost all organisms. It is a general sleep-wake cycle. It regulates everything from the time you wake up and go to bed, your body temperature, mental performance, and even your hormone levels. It should be around the length of the day, which is 24 hours. However, it's actually a little bit longer. In studies where subjects were put in a bunker and not given any cues to the time or they couldn't see the sunlight, they actually operated on 25-hour days. The tendency to get up early or stay up late is called a chronotype. Several factors influence this, such as genetics, age, and choice. About 50% of it is genetics. 34% of people have the AA genotype on the gene that specifies chronotype, which means that they're a morning bird. Likewise, 13% have the genotype of GG, which means that they're a night owl. The remaining approximate half have the AG genotype, which means that they're neutral. There are also other factors, such as age and choice. When you're a toddler, you're a very strong morning person, then by the time you're in your teens and 20s, you'll be the strongest night owl, probably. Then, by the time you're retirement age, you'll be back to a morning person. And keep in mind that this is all relative, that if you're retired and you have night owl genes, you'll probably stay up later than people who have morning bird genes that are the same age as you, even if you go to bed earlier than when you were 20. Having different circadian rhythms is evolutionarily beneficial. In a primitive society, before there were safety measures such as houses or protection, people had to stay up and make sure that no one killed them in the middle of the night. And that might be why we have evolved to have different circadian rhythms. I think it is still very beneficial today because it doesn't make sense that at 3 p.m. the roads look like this. Then at 3 a.m. they look like this. It just doesn't make sense. Now you may be wondering if there's any benefits to being a night owl or morning person other than the time you go to bed, and there actually might be. Studies have repeatedly shown that night owls are actually smarter than morning people, even when the test is taken in the morning. Now is the point where most morning people argue that they're actually healthier, and that might be the case. Some studies have actually shown that morning people are slightly healthier than night owls. And there might be a reason for that too. Generally, our society starts very early in the morning, and even if you're a night owl, you're forced to get up early, which is very bad because you're going against your natural circadian rhythm. Going against your circadian rhythm can cause a lot of health problems. Therefore, we need to make sure that nothing that everyone is forced to attend at a certain time, such as school or work day, is scheduled too early in the morning or too late at night. Also, make sure that when you have the choice, you don't feel like you're pressured to go to bed at a certain time or get up at a certain time and just follow your natural circadian rhythm. That means if you're a morning person, then go to bed early and get up early. And if you're a night owl, then stay up late and get up late. Thank you for watching.